Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dr. Quack Podcast. You know me, I'm the doctor, and I've also got my co-host here. I'm the important one, Mr. Mayhem, and Dr. Quack, thank you for giving me control of your show. You know, I know you didn't pay me a whole lot of money, Nickel Nose, but let, let's talk about the important things of the day. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you, yeah, y'all are in for a treat today. Because <sighs> today, we are going to the Survivor Series. Big show coming up this Sunday. You know, I've always enjoyed the Survivor Series. I would think back to the greatest swerve job of all, the Conquistadors being the last team in the 10-man tag team tournament. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely something. Hi! Let's see if we got our special guest here, too. So, yeah, the Conquistadors. Wow, that, I remember that, that tag team. That's where Demolition and the Powers of Pain switch managers from known to one. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Fuji. Always the devious Mr. Fuji. So, I think he thought it was a practical joke and just didn't know how to do it. <laughs> he might have. So, yeah, we, go, we start off here with this particular Survivor Series. You know, commemorating the 30th anniversary of The Undertaker. Anniversary. What was your favorite match on that? Uh, on The Undertaker. I know it's not a great match, but I'm sorry. The Hell in the Cell with him and Mick Foley, just the the story they told of the brutality. You know, Mick taking the wild bumps, which he always did, but you know, Undertaker still making the match mean something that it's still talked about. What, 25 years later? 26 yeah. years later? I, I will never forget as a kid, and this one isn't talked about as much either. Um, WrestleMania, I believe it was eight. Him and Jake the Snake. I mean, I, when I was a kid, you know, Jake the Snake hit the DDT and knew it was done. And he, he hit him twice with it. And you're like, how is this guy getting up? And he just kept going. You know, and it was definitely, you know, one, one of those matches that made me, like, really, like, go, wow, man, this is The Undertaker, the phenom. You know, and you know the incredible streak at WrestleMania, of course, and, and you can't forget his um, debut. I mean, walk, but walking in with brother love, really? <laughs> That's what a lot of people forget. Walked in with brother love, and I think it was Ted DiBiase was doing the the announced him in. Yes, yeah, it was a part of the Million Dollar Team. Remember, there was Rhythm and Blues. Yeah, nobody remembers. <laughs> well, honky, I remember. A great Valentine, I remember. Just not together. What you did together, stop that. <laughs> stop that. It, it, it was it was horrible, man, that team. But, yeah, let's move down the matches here. So we have, you know, U.S. champion Bobby Lashley taking on Sami Zayn, Intercontinental right. Champion. Well, the first thing I want to tell you jabronis at home is this is being filmed on Thursday. So whatever SmackDown screws up and changes, we don't know that even though this is going to come out after SmackDown. So, jabronis, remember what we told you. Now, Vintage again, Michael Cole. <laughs> you know I can slap you. I can reach you from here. Social distancing doesn't affect me. I'm over six feet tall. <laughs> that it does. So who do you got in this match? Bobby Lashley and Sami Zayn. Hmm. I'm going to take Sami Zayn. Why? Sami Zayn, the match he had with Apollo Crews, says it all. Okay. He tied Apollo Crews up, he pulled down the apron, tied Apollo Crews up in the ropes that hold the apron on, and Bobby Lashley's going to get counted out. Very possible. Yeah, I mean, that could happen. I'm going with Bobby Lashley because I like the Hurt business. You know, I'm loving what MVP is doing with his whole crew there, and he's pretty much the lead man in that group. Well, okay, yeah, you got you got the old school manager who can talk and three idiots who can't talk. So and I yeah. got a feeling he's going to interfere in this match. So, 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 so yeah, MVP is doing his job. He's talking. That's about all he's good for. There you go, folks. Who do you got? I want to hear this in the in the comments section. Let us know. Let us know where we went wrong. Let us know who you think is right. Let us know I'm right. That's that's the way it should be done. Let you let them know I'm right. Yeah, you hear this, right? Okay. So, tag team titles. New Day taking on the Street Profits. Both are tag team champions. Both kind of, you know, on a positive rise here. Who, who do you got there? 
Um, um, uh, well, now that Big E is not physically part of the New Day, he's still New Day, but he's not physically part of them. I see him turning on the Street Profits, or they've been setting that up, of the tension between them. I think he's going to screw the Street Profits, and the New Day is going to go over, setting up a feud between the Street Profits and Big E. Ooh, yeah, and this is a tough match to call. I mean, both, both teams are on fire. I, I'm going I'm going Street Profits here. I do, because we want the smoke. And I, I feel like, you know, for some reason, New Day is really the old day, and the new team is getting ready to move up. That, that, that's my thoughts on it. All right. And just for those of you at home, he's 0 for 2. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I can't wait to see this this Sunday. Check it out. Um, champion versus champion here, women's title. Asuka taking on Sasha Banks. Can, can I hope the lights fall on him and take them both out? <laughs> you could. <laughs> you really could. All right. And my crummy pick of the night, Asuka will go over on Sasha Banks because Bachamania is just going to blow the match too badly. Yeah, I mean, I can I can almost see Bailey possibly even coming out and interfering in this. The setup matches towards the Rumble, but yeah, I'm going to definitely take Asuka one way or another. She's going to hook in that Asuka lock. It, it'll be done. So, women's Survivor Series match. Now, you've got Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, um, Lacey Evans, Peyton Royce, and Lana taking on Bianca Belair, Ruby Riot. Liv Morgan and two people yet to be determined. Yes. Well, one of them is going to be the boat. The greatest of all time, the best of all time, the queen of hearts. It'll be Matt, uh, Nadia, Matt and Talia yeah. will be in the, uh, in the match. Ah. Who, who the other one's going to be? It was going to be, I thought it was supposed to be Chelsea Green, but she broke her arm, so you know that's not going to happen. Mm. And no Selena Vega, so... Yes, Zelina Vega, you will be missed. It doesn't matter who the fifth person is going to be. It's going to be one of two outcomes. Either Lana is going to be the only person eliminated, and the Raw team is going to win, or Lana is the sole survivor, and the Raw team wins. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely go with Raw winning. However, you know, I, I see there's going to be... I can already see this. They're going to make some friction between Basler and Nia Jax. I'm, I'm expecting it. Like, there's going to be some sort of mishap that happens in the ring, and it's going to cause these two to fight because they're two dominant females. Yes, but I can also think, the reason I think Lana may be the only, the sole survivor, I can see Lana going to get tabled again or even getting tabled, and Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax decide it's, they're going to fight over who's going to pound her, who's going to beat her up and they screw themselves. It very well possibly, but we both see it as Raw winning that one. And I, I'm going to even make one more prediction that not this match, or but I'm going to be, I'm going to kick it all the way out to uh, the Royal Rumble. Ooh. Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax will no longer be the tag champions after the end of the Royal Rumble. Ooh, man, that's a bold prediction there, folks. You know, I mean, I can't wait to see what happens during that match. But the big one here, the Men's Survivor Series match. This one here has caught my eye. You have Keith Lee, AJ Styles, with, with his uh, seven-foot bodyguard, whoever that is. I can't remember his name. Remember his name? Uh, he hasn't been given one officially. He's still using his training name, so I don't know what they've called him yet. Okay. Sheamus, Braun Strowman, and uh, Matt Riddle taking on Kevin Owens, Jey Uso, King Corbin, Seth Rollins, and another to be determined. What is up, SmackDown? Why are we doing all this to be determined stuff days before the pay-per-view? Pandemic? Pandemic? How about that? Pandemic? We're going pandemic? Okay. You know, Vince can't keep his, his writing staff happy. He keeps changing things on him, so, you know, it could be that. Could be that. Who do you think the mystery guy will be? Uh, ooh. I, I really haven't thought about it that much. I know the SmackDown team is going to win. Okay. The reason is the AJ Styles-led team is just going to fall apart. Braun Strowman and Keith Lee are going to fight it out. Uh, Matt Riddle's going to get involved and get tore up. AJ Styles is just going to go off on everybody. They're all going to abandon him, and AJ Styles is going to get beat. It's not going to be a clean sweep, but AJ Styles will fall, be the last one to fall because he basically got left for dead. He's the 
team captain. He's going to be left on a ship by himself. Yeah, there, there, there's a thing about being a team captain by edict and being a team captain like me when I led internal affairs here in the state of Texas. Our team dominated. AJ Styles just stirs up more problems. The people don't like him. The fans, or the fans like him. The workers on his team don't like him in this storyline. Interesting take here. I mean, I'm going to go with Team Raw. I think Raw wins this. I, I really do see it. Because, I mean, you have Braun Strowman on this team. Hasn't lost the Survivor Series yet. I mean, I think he's the ultimate X Factor. I, I see AJ getting... Hold, hold, hold on. What is Undertaker's record at WrestleMania? Uh, 20, uh, was it 22 and 2 or something? Like that? 2! He's lost! He has. But, I mean... So will Braun Strowman. Even if Braun Strowman gets counted out because he's fighting outside, he still is on the losing team. He could. I, I think he stays on, though. I think he is going to be your sole survivor for this match. I feel it again. I, I mean, AJ Styles is, of course, going to be met with confrontation and get probably beat up by his own team because what he did. And that, that's going to possibly break out the uh, seven-foot giant out there. We'll see what he can do. So big matchup, main event here, champion versus champion. Drew McIntyre versus Roman Reigns with Paul Heyman. I'm going Drew McIntyre here for two reasons. One, I see this pay-per-view coming out as fairly even and down the middle. Raw and SmackDown each having about three wins apiece. So the I predict the SmackDown team will win, and I predict the Raw champion will win, mostly because Jimmy or Jay Uso is going to cause Roman Reigns. Either Jay Uso doesn't follow the instructions of the head of the table, or Jimmy Uso comes out because he refuses to follow the instructions of the head of the table. So you had who? I have Drew McIntyre. You have Drew McIntyre. Ooh, I mean, me, I, you know I've got a thing when it, when it comes to managers, especially good managers. you got Paul Heyman out there, you know. I feel like he's going to get involved in this match. You don't get involved very often with Roman Reigns matches, but I feel like this one he might. And this is the so far the only time Roman Reign, for Roman Reigns he has not said that is a prediction, that's a spoiler. Yeah. So I, I'm still I'm gonna I'm gonna take Roman Reigns on this one. I, I just I feel like it, it would not it would make more sense for him to go over than it would Drew McIntyre, even though he just won the championship Monday night. I just I feel like the momentum they're gonna want to capitalize on Reigns because it's gonna come closer to some. Um, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, it's that time of season, folks. Now you see why he's called Dr. Quack, because he's a quack. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. But folks, don't stop paying attention, because I know you want to see me. That's right. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you can, make sure you like, share, subscribe to this channel. Let us know your thoughts. Tell us where we're right and tell us where we're wrong, because I'm dying to know this. Yeah. Keep checking in because he's got to pay my salary. If he's not paying my salary, I'm out of here. So you keep watching. And alongside here with Mr. Mayhem, I'm Dr. Quack, and I'm out.